Yo, what's going on boys? Today I'm going to be playing some Expo 3.0 on top ladder. Expo got a huge buff because Tesla is really good now and the Night Evil also kind of carries the deck. So if you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'm in my first game here. I'm kind of high right now. I'm like right outside of top 50. So I'll try to go for like top 20 or top 10 or something. If you enjoy the video though, once again, make sure to like and subscribe. Not too far off from 110,000 subs. But anyways, facing Hezzy here. So this guy's playing a bridge fan deck. In this matchup, I kind of have to watch out for like the evil barbs. They bait out like a lot of elixir and they're also really scary. They kill the expo in the night in no time at all. So I'm going to have to kind of make sure to keep my fireball in cycle for that. But except for that, I think I should be fine if I just kind of play good defense. I'm going to cycle my ice spirit. That was my first night. So I'm going to try to get back to my second night. I'm already back to it now. So actually with that marcher was kind of bad. I'm going to expo with it. I'm going to go night on the marcher and then I'm going to go expo at the same time. If he goes barbs at the bridge, I'm probably going to be able to log it out and DPS it down. Because they're going to be normal. They're not going to be evolved. So I feel like I might be able to take them down. Alright, he splits barbs in the middle. So he's probably going to have to go for like a queen on this. I'm going to take a fireball if he does go for the queen. Okay, sweet. This should just about take out the queen. Oh, it's actually going to live with 1 HP. But that should die to max button now though. He's probably going to bandit now. He's at 3 right now. Ooh, kind of a bad bandit. He could have baited out like a knight if he played it at the bridge to make it dash into my expo, but now I can just kind of get away with one elixir defense, because keep in mind, if he played it at the bridge, that would have dashed into my expo and then instantly would have dashed into my tower, so I would have had to like go for like an ice spear and then go knight on that. But instead, he played it in the middle, let the expo do some damage on it, and then I was able to defend it for one elixir. Tiny interactions matter a lot in matchups like these, because any damage he gets is going to be really um annoying for me to come back from. Okay, this is kind of awkward. I'm gonna knight here. Oh, I kind of had a brain lag. Okay. I thought the knight was gonna like not take any damage like it often does it when it's walking. I kind of forgot, but yeah, that was a really bad plan. Probably gonna take a lot of damage here. I'm gonna log. Okay, gonna archers. I'm gonna let them die because I kind of have to now. I'm gonna skellies here and then I'm back to knights. So I'm gonna knight right now. Okay, you know what? Good defense. I'm kind of down like a lot of elixir right now, but kind of got out of that. So Tesla high, super high by the way, so he couldn't like march for my knight. I know he's back to marcher right now and i didn't want him to like march in my night so i wanted to play super high i'm gonna go for an ice spirit in the back and then i'm gonna arches in the back again gonna have to watch out i can't like afford to make that mistake again can't put like a knight right in front of the evil barbs i low-key just like blanked out though like i don't know what i was thinking i thought the knight was gonna take out the barbs i'm gonna fireball on the bandit and the marcher pretty good fireball value you're gonna log on the bandit to take it out okay the ghost should die kind of evened out everything I think his only possible play right now is a queen in the back or like queen in the middle because he's not back to barbs. Okay, he's back to evil barbs now, so he's probably going to play it in the back or split it in the middle. Ram in the middle. Okay, kind of mistimed it, but still worked out fine. Oh, wait, really good skellies there. Actually going to go same lane so I can get a really good fireball on those. That was good. I'll take that. I'm going to ice spear, then I'm going to go for the knight on the queen that's barely going to take any damage. It's just kind of tickling my knight, can't lie. Anyways, I'm going to expo here to see if I can get damage. Wow, that was a really good marcher. He predicted my expo with it, so expo might die. That's a really good play, though. I'll give it to him. Not a lot of people would have went for that. Okay, let's go for the queen. I might still be able to get some damage. He's probably going to arrows, though. Okay, this is kind of tough. I need to kind of, like, figure out a way to get damage here. I think I'll be okay, though. If I just kind of defend and fireball cycle at the end, fireball log cycle, I think I'll be okay. But I can't let um something, like the night in front of the evil barbs happen again i just have to play good defense and not overcommit on anything i'm gonna expo right now uh see what he does okay it looks like he had the marcher on the side because he probably didn't have like a good um cycle to defend it he's back to barbs now kind of want to predict in the middle oh i should have done it kind of should have done it if i did i would have gotten a lock there but all good though i don't really need a lock i just need like a few spells on the tower to win this game I'm going to Axe on defense right now. I feel like I need one on defense. Okay, good thing I didn't go in. He would have predicted it. I'm going to go Skellies on the Queen. going to log on the Queen too to take it out. Okay, I'm not going to Fireball the Marcher on the left lane. I don't feel like playing the Fireball on it because I kind of need my Fireball on offense right now. So I'm going to go for a Knight on the Ghost and then I'm going to Fireball the left now because I get value with the Barbs. If the Marcher was naked though, like the whole time, I definitely would not take the Fireball. He played the arrow, so can't take out my Skellies, but... Might still dash into my um, tower though. I'm gonna knight. Uh, Marcher block Tesla. Okay, it looks like he's not gonna march her. March her down low though. Interesting. I'm gonna fireball the tower just to get the damage. I'm already up damage with that fireball. Then I'm gonna go for the archers. Skellies on the side to defend it. Then I'm gonna Tesla in the middle. I'm gonna knight on defense. I kind of have to just stall out for like 10 more seconds here. I'm gonna fireball the tower again. I can afford to because none of this stuff is going to make it to my tower on time. So. That is going to be GG. It kind of looks scuffed in single and double, but then everything kind of fell in place in triple, so I'll take the win. 
I'm gonna hop right in. I'll play like a few more. I think I'm like pretty high right now too. I think I'm like top 50-ish. Maybe like inside the top 50 now. I was kind of outside the top 50 before this, but might be like in the top 50 now. Oh, 50 on the dot. I'll take that. All right, I'm in a game. Facing Dominic. He's the best Lava player in the game right now. I think he finished like top three too last season. So definitely not going to be fun here. Evil Barb's in the back first play. Not going to be fun. Every matchup is Evil Barb's now because they're like the most broken evolution right now. Need a fat nerf, but anyways, I'm going to log here. Hopefully they nerf it in the next update or like emergency nerf it. But I don't know if they will though. It is super solid, so who knows. I'm going to Ice Spirit on the left here to pull that back. Okay, I'm back to my knight, so I'm going to go for a knight to tank for this. Don't want to take all that damage early on. Also, I should be able to bait out like a tombstone or that's going to get like two hits on the tower. Maybe one actually because it got the last hit. The Skelly Drag kind of hit it last second, so it's probably going to do one hit. Yeah, just go for the one hit. I'm going to expo right now because no arrows in cycle. And he can only go for like an eye drag to take this out completely. Or he could go flying machine behind the lava. But I'm going to fireball that. I'm just going to fireball. But now the thing is, I'm going to have to get to my second fireball. Because I know that he's back to evil barb. So he could just go barbs and then skelly drag. So I'm going to have to play four cards to try to get back to it really fast. I'm thinking maybe like ice spirit, log, skellies, and knight. And then fireball. I don't know if I'll be able to like afford all that though. Okay, I'm gonna knight, and then I'm gonna log here. Then I'm back to my fireball, so I'm gonna fireball. Wait, go down. All right, beautiful. Wow, good defense. Well, I don't know if I'll be able to save my tower, though. He's at, like, six right now, so he might be able to arrows my archers and take them out. That's fine. I'm gonna play them at the bridge. Okay, nice. Wait, I actually saved my tower because I'm gonna ice spear, and then that's gonna hit, like, five or six of them. Five. Okay, nice. No way. I actually saved my tower. That was some crazy defense. I can't lie. Had I done anything else in that defense, I think I would have lost the whole tower and possibly like half my king or something. But I played that so perfect. I played a fireball on the flying machine, got back to a second one, cleaned up this stuff. And then he was up like six on me, but then I had the knight going down. So I played the archers really high to not let him get a arrows on my archers on the tower. And then I kind of played skellies on the miner, took it out, played a nice ice spirit on the pups, and then everything just fell into place. Okay, see what he does here. This expo definitely not going to lock on, but might as well defend it now because I already played it. I'm going to go for skellies here. Oh, actually, I take that back. It might lock on for like a little bit. Nah, it's not going to lock on. All right. Not too bad, though, because he did play the arrow. So now I can like abuse my archers. And then he's only at four right now. Okay, he had to play the skelly drag. So he's probably not going to be able to minor on time. Also, I'm not going to fireball because I know that he's back to evil barbs. Yeah, smart. If I fireball, I die because I can't defend the evil barbs. But I was actually able to defend it right now because I played that smart. Save the fireball for the barbs. And now I'm going to knight here. Then I'm going to go for the ice spirit. All right, that's going to tank it forever. Like, that's not going to die at all. Look at that. It's not even taking, like, one HP damage. I'm not sure how Supercell thought that was balanced. That thing's a whole-ass golem. Like, you can't kill that thing if you just let it move. But yeah, I'll take the win, though. Um, that's going to put me at, like, maybe top 40-ish. 35, maybe? I don't know. 38, not too bad. I'm going to hop right in and see when I find a game. Alright, I'm in a game. Fissing Steve. This guy plays a Remy Eli deck. I'm pretty sure he plays a Minor Wall Breaker deck with a Magic Archer, so it's probably going to be a little bit tough. It's already kind of tough to begin with, but with the Evo Knight, it's going to be kind of hard to get a lock. I'll try my best. The Miner in the back. Really good play, by the way, because you want to kind of play your Miners low to tank for the Expo and single, and then try to go for, like, offensive Miners and double. So that was actually a decent Miner to bait on my Knight. Okay, I was going to Expo there if my left side Archer lived, because he would have had to log there, but no, I kind of don't want to Expo. Have to, though, because I want to get value with the Tesla. So I'm going to Axe right now. If I don't do anything, he would just kind of leak Elixir, let the Tesla die, and then probably split wall breakers. So I kind of wanted to do this. Okay, I'm going to Skelly's on the side. Um, Had my Ice Spirit jumped on the Bomb Tower, I definitely would have played a Knight there to block it. But since I didn't really have like a lot of time to react to it, I just didn't want to play the Knight on it. But yeah, I feel like you might just get away with like a Knight Bomb Tower Tornado every time on Max. But it's kind of hard to get a lock in this matchup. You often have to like Spell Cycle to win this. But yeah, I'll try my best though. That's going to get like two shots on my tower. I'll let that slide for now. Not that it would really make that big of a difference for now anyways. I'm going to expo. And then uh, I don't think he's going to be able to defend this properly. He's back to night bomb tower though. So he might just go bomb tower here to defend it. I hope not though. I'm kind of hoping he goes minor. Oh, that was a good bomb tower. My knight died pretty quick. So I wasn't able to block the bomb tower. So I'm going to let that die. Next cycle, both of us are going to have the evil knight. So... I don't know how that's going to play out. He might go wall breakers here. I don't have a log in cycle, so I'm going to have to kind of watch out. Played a log on the knight and the one spare gob. Definitely was not worth it, but had to do it because I wanted to get a lock. I'm going to ice spirit to cycle. 
plays it in the back. Interesting. All right, I'm going to kind of predict a minor right now. I know it's going to like minor on Marcher, so I'm going to play my Skellies here. I think I blocked it. What? It got surrounded, but it still went for my um Archer. That's interesting. Now I'm going to Axe on the left here. Ooh, bad Spare Gobs. I'm going to Ice Spirit to mitigate the damage. Okay, not too bad. Then I'm going to Archers, and then I'll go for Skellies. Thing is, you might just go NATO to take out my Axe and everything. Yeah, that's a little unfortunate. Damn, I didn't realize how low my tower was. I'm already down like 1200 damage. I'm gonna have to find a way to come back because I can't spell cycle that, so I'm gonna have to find a way to get a lock. All right, I'm gonna Expo again. Uh, so this time I wanna kinda go Tesla here. And he might try to go for like a Marcher to snipe out my Tesla and the Expo. So I'm gonna Ice Spirit and then, oh, I thought he wasn't gonna do it because I played the Ice Spirit, but he played it late. Got two shots on my Expo. Okay, I'm gonna let the Marcher go. This should be a lock, I hope it is. Because I know that he's back to a knight, but I can take out the knight pretty quick with this Tesla, and then he can't bomb tower on time. Even if he does bomb tower, I can kind of like archers on the side to take it out. Kind of bad wall breakers. Hold on, wait. This should be a lock. All right, that should lock on the tower. Okay, not too bad. Uh, I'm going to block the miner. Hopefully, I catch it. Oh, I caught it. Nice. And the archer lives. Okay, that's really good. I'm going to axe in the middle. I think he's back to a knight, but should be a pretty good axe. Oh, I didn't know he was back to an evil knight, though. All right, this is going to be a little bit annoying. I'm going to let the Axpa die now. It's not worth defending the Axpa anymore because Bomb Tower locked on it already. And the Knight has like infinite HP. I'm going to go for a Tesla. I would log, but I don't trust my log to take out the Knight. So wanted to kind of go Tesla. He might go Marcher to snipe out the Skellies to get the one shot. At least I'm winning right now by a little bit though. I'm going to go for a Knight in the back. He's probably going to Spare Gobs. I'm going to keep my log ready. Yeah, let's go for the Spare Gobs. I'm going to log here. I'm definitely going to Tesla here sometime soon because I know it's going to march her, so I'm going to have to kind of block it. All right, he's probably going to do it in the middle now. I'm going to Fireball and then... Wait, if I just go Expo here, I might be cooking. I'm going to Expo right now because I think I might be able to get damage here. My Evil Knight's still on the tower or on his Knight, not on the tower exactly, but it's still applying a good amount of pressure. I'm going to Knight. I'm going to Archers. Uh, might have added on to like the Log Native Valley. I hope not though, but gonna log and then i'm gonna fireball gonna ice spirit he's already back to the evil knight this is not good at all oh, he's probably gonna tornado yeah let's go for the tornado wait the expo kind of messed up the tornado so he wasn't able to get the marcher damage on the tower i'll take that for sure gonna log and then i'm gonna fireball too kind of have to fireball i'm hoping to hit like wall breakers i thought he was gonna put it into that fireball because i logged first to bait the wall breakers out and then went fireball but i guess he had different plans Okay, this is not going to be fun. I don't want to fireball that. I probably should have done it, though, but I didn't want to do it. I'm going to knight. Going to archers on the side. Take that out. We missed the tornado. That's still going to do one hit on my tower, though. No, that's so annoying. Wait, I think I choked because of that one hit. Because if that did not get a hit, I would have been able to fireball cycle and not have to use my log on offense to be up damage. But yeah, I would have lost anyway, so... I don't mind losing this. He actually kind of played better than me because he cycled like a lot more um, Evil Knights compared to me. So not too bad. All right, I'm in a game. Got to get my trophies back now. So I'm going to play like a few more. Just going to go for an Ice Spirit to cycle. Just making sure I'm recording because my recording crashed like the game before. Anyways, I'm going to go for a Knight here to pressure. Lava Hunt player, so he's probably going to um just let the Knight go. Yeah, yeah, I know he's going to let it go. Oh my God. Yeah, what a beautiful defense by this um, Lava Hound player. Lava in the back first play. And just soak up all that damage. I feel like he's going to push the balloon, so I'm going to get ready with the Fireball. Okay, nice. Good thing I didn't Tesla first, because I knew that he was going to push it with the Skelly Drags. So I got a fat Fireball, and then I get to kill the balloon now, and my Tesla stays alive. All right, this is amazing. Wow, really good defense. I got, like, pretty much his whole tower, and he got, like, barely one-third of my tower. Or one-fourth. <laughs> that was so good. I can't believe this guy just let the Knight Skellies go. All he had to do was play a Tombstone to kind of like mitigate the damage. That would actually full counter it, but I'm going to Knight Skellies again. Um, knowing this guy, he's probably not going to defend it. But never mind, he defends it, but I got all the um, Barbarians to go same lane. So this is actually really good. I get a log and I don't really have to defend them anymore. I can kind of let them go because I know that he's not going for the same lane. So I'm probably going to Axe Bar right now. He's at 10, so he might go Lava in the back at the same time. Oh, nice. Wait, beautiful timing on that. He can't really defend the Axe, but I don't think. Wait, how's he going to defend my knight right now? If I just go knight, I think he has to tombstone because no barbs in cycle. And if I go log on the tombstone, I think he's kind of dead. Wait, he actually can't do anything. I'm trying to think like what he could do right now. All he can do is like skelly drags, I think. Or he could just let the knight go and go balloon. All right, I'm not going to fireball those though. I can't because I know that he's back to evil barbs. 
So I'm gonna have to save my fireball for those. But for now, I'm gonna Tesla on the Skelly Drag, and then I'm also gonna play the Tesla one over because if he does go for the balloon, I'm gonna have to kind of pull it. Yeah, I knew this guy was going to do something with the Evo Barge, so I kind of saved my fireball. I knew he was gonna either like send the same lane or opposite lane. And he sent it opposite lane, and I'm going to call the good game, because I already got, like, a lot of damage on the right lane, too. I'm going to expert right now, maybe Lava in the back at the same time. Oh, two in a row. I like that. All right, easy tower. I'm going to go for Arches in the back. Just have to cycle back to, like, a few sets of Arches and Tesla here. And maybe, like, a few Fireball to defend. And I'll basically win the game. And this guy did not really play that well, I can't lie. I know that I have a matchup, but he could have played this, like, a lot better. I'm going to go Arches again. He played a Fireball and a Zap on the Tesla. I'm gonna go for a fireball like this, and that should get full countered, I think. I'm gonna knight here to kind of save my archers. And since he has no fireball or zap in cycle, I get to keep my archers alive forever. I'm back to my second set already. Actually, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna try to get back to my um, evil knight, because I know the next knight is going to be evil. I'm gonna place it in front of my archers, and that is going to be GG. I'll take the win. Evil knight kind of carried, I'm not gonna lie, because it took out the entire left side tower. Well, not the whole thing. Axe also locked on, but... It basically like finish it off that's a lot of trophies i'll take that that's gonna put me at top 23 not too bad i'm gonna play like two more to get to top 10. all right i take that back on to my last game the queue time is kind of bad right now so just gonna end the video after this i'm gonna have to win though because i don't want to end on a loss this guy's playing a log bait deck i think he's playing log bait tesla now that tesla is kind of better so i think he has matchup by a little but i just have to kind of play it smart okay I'm going to go for Archer's same lane, but I'm not going to place them super like close to the knight because he could just go Princess and snipe it out. So I want to kind of be careful with that. going to log. And then he might just go Princess. If he does, I'm going to Fireball. If not, I'm just going to Axe Ball on the left here. Actually, wait. I'm going to take that Fireball because I know that he has to Ice Spear and then go Log on the Archer's. Knight one hit maybe? No, it didn't get the one hit. That's unfortunate. I'm going to expo though, then I'm going to go for skellies on the side. He might go Tesla on this. I'm going to try to save it. Yeah, this way I bait out like a gobbling and then I'll be fine because I'm not really worried about the pressure. I do have the log in cycle, but I'm not going to play it now because I want to kind of let the expo die. It's a whole Tesla on the field. I'm going to defend the spare gobs by only taking one hit, kind of mitigate the damage. And then he could just go princess barrel right now, but I do have good response for it. I can archers on the princess, take one hit, and then go log, and then I'll be back to Axpo too. I don't think he's going to rock him Axpo in single. Because he does have the evil knight back now, so he's probably going to want to, like, evil knight Tesla it. Okay, I'm going to log on the barrel. Okay. Alright, kind of want to go in here, but I'm going to wait till I have 9 elixir to go in. I have to block my Axpo with the evil knight. Also, like, if he doesn't rocket the Axpo right away, he's kind of dead, because I think I win that trade. If I try to defend my Axpo with the evil knight, I think I win that trade compared to him, so... Gonna knight right now to cycle. Okay, I'm actually gonna have to go opposite lane right now. Actually, wait. I'm gonna Tesla here to snipe. That way he's gonna Tesla to snipe as well. And then I can rocket. Or I can bait out the rocket with the axe bow. Alright, this is kind of genius, I can't lie. And if he doesn't rocket, I win. Okay, wait. What's he doing? Okay, he kind of got bailed out by double elixir. Because he should have been at like four elixir. I should have gotten like four or five hundred more damage. But and he should have rocketed right away. I don't know why he did all that. I'm going to go skellies in the front, I was going to say, but I kind of misplaced it, so I played it in the side. Still only took one hit, the one um goblin hit. Okay, I'm going to log the princess, and then I'm going to expo right away. I'm back to knight already, so I'm going to go for knight on the left here to block the Tesla. Oh, wait, he has no elixir right now. Wait, I won. Wait, I think I actually just won, because he has to rock it at six. I know the expo is not going to do any damage, but his next cycle is going to be so awkward. Okay, I think I won, because I'll be back to my evil knight too. I should be back to it anyways. Yeah, okay, look at this. I'm going to Expo, then I'm going to Knight. I think he still has to play one more Knight before getting into the Evo Knight. So, I just win the game here. All he can do is Tesla. Yeah, I'm going to Archers, take out the Tesla, and that is going to be GG. Almost want to call it, but I don't know if he can get the Knight down on time. Nah, he can't. Okay. Yeah, I'll take the win. That is going to be GG. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And next video, I'm probably going to play Pumpo. The Pumpo Hunter deck is kind of popular, and I want to kind of push up high with it. So... For now, I'm going to end the video there. That's a lot of trophies. But I love you guys and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.